Hi, welcome back to my channel. I'm Liz of Chicago Law Luxury Makeup. Today we're going to do a little haul video, just a few things that I picked up over the last week that I'm excited to show you and I'm excited to start playing with. So I'm going to start with my Tom Ford haul. I picked up the new lip gloss. It's called Sun Lust. And this shade is really interesting from the swatches that I've seen. It looks gold, but I don't think it stays gold. No. So you can see it's starting to kind of turn colors. So I'm, ex I'm really excited to play with this and see what color it is on the lips. Just kind of like a it's got a little bit of like, okay, so when I shear it out, look at that, it goes from gold to like this peach shade. That is wild. Very, very cool. So I'm excited to put this on my lips and try it out, which hopefully will be soon this week. And then the second thing that I picked up is the new Cream and Powder Eye Duo in Black sand. I'm not going to swatch this, but I will open it and show you guys. So this is the powder topper. It's a beautiful gold. And then I'm not even going to take this plastic part off, but it's like a black cream. So I'm going to attempt to do a look with this this week. I don't know how successful I will be. The black really does um, intimidate me but I do love the Tom Ford cream formula and I think it'll be beautiful on so I am excited to try just a little bit nervous so that is what I picked up from the Tom Ford boutique while I was downtown I also went to Bloomingdale's they had a sale it wasn't like the definitely wasn't the greatest sale but they had a small sale and it was $20 off 150 I have been interested in picking up a Bond Number no. 9 lipstick for probably five or six months now. It's been a while. And I just couldn't pull the trigger because there were not a lot of videos out there on YouTube about them. Um, I have only seen maybe three or four. And one of them was Jennifer from All Feisty. She had one shade. She did a video at the end of 2020 with her top favorite luxury lipsticks. And that was one of them. Michelle Wong had a video where there, she had a couple different shades and then there was someone else that I can't remember who had some swatches and really that was all I could find. So I had never pulled the trigger. Well then last week on Clubhouse, Jennifer from All Feisty was saying again, like her top lipstick was the Bond number no. nine. So I was like, okay, just pull the trigger, just do it, try it. So I did, I picked it up. I picked up shade Greenwich Village. And so this is the box. And this is like magnetic to it. If I can open it. And you lift it up. And then here is the little certificate. Bond number nine refillable New York lips collection. Made with passion in New York. And so it just gives you some information on the lipstick. And then you pull back and then there is the lipstick. The holder is beautiful. I expected it to weigh significantly more. Um, I knew that it didn't because Jennifer from Alfeisty said it was very light, but it just looks so luxe and it looks like it would be a really, really strong, heavy piece of metal or, you know, whatever it's made of but it's really not. It's very, very lightweight. So this is the shade that I got. And it is a lot darker than I had thought it was going to be. So there it is. And then you just stick it back in here. And then there you go. I have to be honest with you though. I'm very hesitant to carry this in my purse only because I don't want it to get scratched and scuffed and whatnot because it is so beautiful. So I will probably just leave this at home, which, you know, is kind of sad, but, um, yeah, I just don't want to put this in my purse without any sort of like protective case. So 
I got that. The and because I purchased it in store, they did not have a lot of options and shades. They only had a couple options and you couldn't swatch them. There's no swatches on the websites. So I just, I don't know. I picked a color. It is a beautiful color. I did try it on. If you are, if you follow me on Instagram, I did a reel with it the other day and it's nice. It's just darker than I expected. So I will play with this and let you guys know my thoughts on like the finish and how it stays and all of that. But I did try it on already on the lips. It is pretty. It's just darker than I'm used to, but that's okay. I'll get used to it. So while I was there, I picked up a new Chanel blush. So I picked up the shade Rose Rubin. So here is Rose Rubin. It's a beautiful, beautiful pink. So I will definitely be playing with that this week. And then I went to Macy's and Macy's was having 15% off of beauty and it included Chanel. So I picked up a few more pieces from Chanel. The first thing I got was the CC cream. So this, I have never tried um, the Chanel CC cream and I hear really good things about it. So I picked this up in shade 30 beige. I also picked up a Le Beige Healthy Glow Luminous Powder and I got shade deep. I got this to use as a powder bronzer because I don't have a powder bronzer from Chanel. I don't know, I'm a little nervous. There's some powder there on the edge. I hope that doesn't mean it's broken. It looks good on the inside so far. So there it is. All right, so there is the powder and this is the Healthy Glow Luminous color. So this one will have a little, they had two different types of powder and I chose the one, the luminous one. So it has a little bit of sheen to it. I went ahead and replaced my La Base mascara. Mine was pretty old and I felt it was time to declutter it. So I picked up a new one. I also picked up another La Volume de Chanel just in shade black, which I had decluttered at the end of 2020. And the last thing that I picked up was another one of these um, eyeshadow liner crayons. And this is in shade Nude Eclat. So it's just like a champagne color. I thought it would be really pretty to do my lower lash line or even just like pop it into my inner corner. I thought that would be really pretty. So that is everything that I picked up from Chanel. And then the last little haul that I have is from Chantecaille. Last weekend they had a sale, I believe it was 20% off. I think it was 20% off. And so I picked up a few things that I have been wanting to try. So here is the box that it comes in. And I have not even opened this. So this is really nice. I don't think it's ever, I've ever had like the ribbon tied around before. I got a lot, you guys. First, we're going to start with the bronzer. So I got the Real Bronze in shade Goa. I was very torn between the two shades. I didn't know which one I wanted. I still am thinking, do I need the other shade? Should I have gotten the other shade? but this is the bronzer that I got. So this is shade Goa. I'm definitely gonna have to do an updated Chantecaille video. I picked up quite a bit of stuff that I didn't already have, so I probably should update, do an updated video. I also got a Cheek Gelée, and this is in shade Vibrant. I really wanted the bronze one, but they are sold out. They were sold out online of the bronze. So hopefully by summer, the bronze will be back in and I can try that one. So here is the Cheek Gelé. It's just a cream cheek blush. And then I got, what did I get here? I got another Luster Glide Silk Infused Eyeliner and I got shade Amethyst. And another lip liner, lip definer in shade Natural. Also picked up a lip gloss. This is in shade Classic. 
I have heard great things about their lip glosses and I love a lip gloss. So, okay. So I was not expecting that. There's a brush on the end. And that is significantly darker than I was thinking, but I think it'll still be pretty. It's like a perfect nude, pinky nude. And then I picked up a brush. I picked up the shade and sweep brush and these are, this brush was made for the luminescent eye shades. And I have mentioned it before that I wanted the shade elephant. And so I finally got it. I think this is going to be my favorite shade. So there is elephant. It is a shimmering taupe gray, which I mean, that just screams Liz. So oh, I definitely need to do an updated Chantikai video. And then there's more. I mean, there's more. I picked up three single shadows. So I picked up shade Cell, S-E-L, I think is what it is. And this is an iridescent eye shade. I picked up shade Shine. Or I'm sorry, I picked up shade Rose Quartz, which is a shine eye shade. And last I picked up shade Quartz, which is a iridescent eye shade. So I got three single shadows. So I'm very excited to try these and play with these and see how the formula compares to the other Chantecaille eyeshadows that I have. And then I got some free gifts. So let's see what I got. The first thing I got is a deluxe sample size of the Jasmine and Lily Healing Mask. This is a mask that I do not own. All right, so it does come sealed, which I do like. So that means I don't have to like rush to use it right away. Next, I got this cute little travel bag with three deluxe sample sizes in it. And I got the Bio Lifting Serum, which if you follow me on Instagram, you know that I use this serum nightly. So this will be really good for my upcoming travels. Next, I got a sample size, deluxe sample size of the Bio Lifting Cream and a sample, deluxe sample size of the Bio Lifting Mask. So those are all wonderful gifts. All right, that completes today's haul. It wasn't too bad. There are still some items I'm missing. I still have not received my Viseart palettes. I ordered those a while back and it's, I think, been like three weeks now and I still don't have them. Um, but those are coming and I ordered some Sicily last weekend during the friends and family and that hasn't shipped yet either. I feel like maybe there might be some more. So there's definitely some more goodies coming but I have plenty of new makeup to play with this week and hold us over until my next big haul. I would love to hear in the comments down below what you are most excited that I test out and demonstrate and try. Um, would you like to see a another updated full face of Chantecaille? Or now that I've gotten some more Chanel, maybe I should do an updated full face of Chanel. I would love to hear your guys' thoughts if you've picked up any of these products and what you think. I want to thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate it. I hope everyone has a great day and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.